Hi everybody, it's me Barry. Just wanted to show you my new mobile um, recording studio. Uh, you saw another video I posted uh, of another one that I had created uh, back at our other house. And we bought this house, moved over here, and the other one didn't look good in here. So I shopped around, I found this little table on uh, Amazon. I'll see if I can find the link to it or name information and stick it in the description. Uh, anyway, it's a really great little table. I think it was less than $200. Uh, it's good hardwood in most places. I think it has some press wood in it. Uh, it's on casters. It rolls really well. Anyway, um, you notice on the top there I've got my, my Tascam uh, recorder. Below that I've got my equalizer. I've got uh, some Logitech speakers and underneath there's a subwoofer and in my little laptop and uh, of course the little speakers sound pretty good in case you're wondering who the song is uh, that's um, Gautier or, or uh, <laughs> Wally DeBaca with uh, his other band, Bass, The Basics. It's one of my favorite songs. It's called Get Me Down. You can find it all over uh, YouTube. Anyway, uh, speakers work really well at the setup. It's all very straightforward. Um, on the side over here, I've got a little hanger and it holds the uh, power of the, I'm sorry, the guitar cord. So I can plug it into my little amp over here. And believe it or not, that's a, a blues amp, <laughs> but it's green in color for some reason. If you look down a little lower here, you can, you can see the amp. I've got a little garbage can on one side, a big clean area in the center there. Under the bottom, I've got a foot pedal stored, and underneath the back there, there's a clean power supply. Uh, and then I've got my little James Bond thing here. Let me show you little pull-out drawer and uh, on the drawer you can see I've got I've got several foot pedals and most people that know me know I'm in a wheelchair most of the time so I can't use my feet to reach out and press the pedals very well so I just put it in the drawer that way I can pull the drawer out I can uh, use them whenever I want to over here on the left hand side right here you see a little pick holder I can pull picks out all day because I drop them a lot and I break them all the time. This uh, slides on back out of the way too, which gives you a lot more working room if you're working on something you need some space. Whoops, and there goes my Velcro for the first time on camera. But it's nice, it keeps it all um, put away when I don't want to use it. The uh, unit itself the I'm sorry the the task cam up here I believe is it's just an eight channel recorder on the left hand side over here you can see I've got my my headphones hanging down and I use this old uh, uh, sword holder that came off of a display I collect samurai armor and all and anyway so you'd have to be one into the sword holder so I just put that there. It gives me an extra place to throw cables when I'm working on things as well. When I'm sitting in my wheelchair, I can look, I can see everything straight on. This all slides out. It's just, it's all real movable. I'm trying to make everything as mobile as possible. This is pretty locked in place, and that's just because I want to be able to reach up and push buttons with one hand and not have it fly off. Uh, I guess you could get a little iPad up here or something. This is an iPad holder as well. In fact, I'm planning on putting a a, a tablet on the other side instead of the laptop. Anyway, the stand back here is a little custom design. It's kind of a Frankenstein. The, the top part of the stand here came off of a little floor mic for a, you know drum sets or, amp, or amp, an amp. And then the taller pole came off of a regular amp. And so what I did was I simply uh, strapped it to the <clears throat> I just strapped it to the pole, the, I'm sorry, strapped the pole um, to the wood there so it doesn't turn and it works very well like that. On the back side, as you can see, 
I've got uh, a power strip on the uh, right side of the screen, the long thin one over here, and that turns on the whole unit. I reach back there and turn it on and I have power to everything, uh, except I have the laptop and the speakers plugged into the surge protector on the other side over here so that it has power all the time. That way I don't have to worry about the battery dying in the laptop or what have you. The, um, clean power unit is on the bottom down there. It's a surge protector and a clean power unit. Try to get rid of the humming noises when you have issues. Anyway, a little cable management I guess could be better, but it's uh, not bad because it's against the wall. No one sees it, except you folks. And again, on this, uh, on this side you can see or have a little cable holder so I can wrap cables up and sit them there. When I want to use the amp, I can reach right over and plug it in. And I've got the amp sitting on a little set of wheels. That's a little potter that you set plants on to roll them around. I set the amp on top of that so I can move the whole thing easy. I can literally just unplug it from the wall and um, we'll have to disconnect the amp because they roll separately. Roll them wherever I want to use them. Uh, and they're nice and they're neat and they stay all together. So I can sit over here and use it as a little desk if I want to. Or I can sit over here and if I want to work on something else I can or I can sit in front of my guitar and make noise. Anyway, that's it.